the stuff. Ready to go. Ready to go. Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Sylvia Ganny, back with another video. And today I'm gonna bring you guys testing Instagram. No, I'm not gonna do that. I did that before. Today we're doing testing Pinterest hacks. So because you guys seem to enjoy me testing Instagram beauty hacks, I thought let's move it on to Pinterest, another social media site, and let's test those hacks too. I always see so many different hacks on my Pinterest and I always wonder, do these work? The main difference is that these ones are not all beauty hacks like my Instagram hacks video. They're mostly like all weird life hacks that are just like really random. So I have all the stuff ready to go, but before we start the video, don't forget to give me a big Thumbs up for another hacks video because these are so much fun and you guys get to actually see if these things work or not before you try them out for yourself. I want to get to 12,000 thumbs up for this video, so go hit that thumbs up button right now. I'm just gonna have another sip of my Red Bull while you guys go thumbs up the video. You did it, right? Okay, moving on. You guys, literally as I just was about to start the hacks, Charlie came home and he brought me a package and in the package was my silver play button. Holy crap, it's finally here. We're definitely a long way past 100,000, but I can't believe it's finally here. I just wanted to quit show you guys before we got on with the hacks. I've had a spot planned for it for so long so I'm glad it finally arrived and again thank you guys so much for sticking with me whether you're a new subscriber or if you were with me before I hit this hundred thousand mark thank you for being there along the way and just supporting me anyways yeah I just wanted to show you guys quickly before we get on with the hacks because it's so crazy that literally he walked in the door with it just now and thank you to my S Club because you guys made this happen so let's get on with the hacks the first hack is how to make your own homemade ice pack. I don't know about this one you guys. Apparently if you use three parts water and one part alcohol and put it in a Ziploc bag, I'm a little worried that I'm gonna spill it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah. Wow, I actually didn't spill it. It's three parts water, one part rubbing alcohol. The hack says that if you do this, it'll freeze just enough for it to be like slushy like, kind of like a cold pack is. I'm gonna put the alcohol in there. And I decided to do this hack first just so that it has time to freeze and get to that ice pack kind of consistency before I'm done the video. There we go, I'm gonna shake it all up in there. I'm gonna put it in the freezer, we'll come back to it when I'm done all the hacks and see if it actually worked and if it's actually a homemade ice pack. So this next hack is how to put your elastic rubber bands to good use. Apparently if like your jean zipper breaks or the button doesn't go through the hole anymore, apparently all you have to do is use an elastic band to keep your pants together. All I had laying around was a neon elastic band. This is probably a little bit ugly than what you would want on your clothing. So you try and use a regular elastic band if you can. But all I'm gonna do is unbutton my pants just like the picture. And the picture just shows like an elastic band on the button right there and then loop through the hole right here. So that's all the picture shows. I'm assuming you gotta loop it back over, kind of, you know, wrap it around the button one more time but I'm going rogue at this point because the picture didn't really show much else. That's what it looks like. It does hold your pants together, but you can still very obviously tell that your button is not where it's meant to be. So I don't really know. I mean, I guess this hack is good if your pants just like burst open when you're at school or you're at work and you just need something to hold your pants together, but you would probably want it to be covered because you can still really tell that there's an elastic band holding your pants together. But I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys think this is a good hack or not, or if it's just like unnecessary and doesn't really make sense. So this next hack says that you can use nail polish remover to clean your shoes, like your tennis shoes or the soles of your shoes. So I decided to try it on my Roches because it does have the white sole here that gets very, very dirty. So if this actually works, I'll be pretty impressed because I do have quite a lot of shoes that get really dirty. I mean, how can you keep a white sole of your shoe clean, right? Use an extra toothbrush, not the one that you use every day. It says that you can just use some nail polish remover on your toothbrush and then use it on your shoe and then that's gonna get rid of all the dirt. So that's what it looks like beforehand. And now I'm gonna take my nail polish remover on my toothbrush and just rub it on there and see if the dirt comes off. It's not taking everything off. I feel like there's some stains on here that just will never come off. They're really deep in the sole. It's taking the surface dirt off really, really well. You can still see that there's some streaks of dirt, but for the most part, they look a lot, a lot whiter. So I'm gonna say that this hack actually works. It does take off the dirt on your shoes. I don't think it'll make them look brand new, but it'll definitely make them look a lot whiter and take off all the surface dirt. So good on you, Pinterest. This one actually works. So this next hack is when you call customer service and you know how they have those automated machines that make you press a bunch of numbers before before you actually can get to talking to a person and that's so frustrating so this hack says that if you just press pound over and over and over it'll just take you right to a human being to talk to so that's like the hashtag symbol if you didn't know I'm gonna try and call Netflix customer service and see if I just press pound over and over again if it'll just take me straight to talking to a person 
Let's see if it works. For English, press one. Nah, I'm just gonna press pound over and over and over again. Maybe. Your call will be answered in about one minute. Calls may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. So it is actually taking me straight to a person. Oh God, I'm hanging up. <laughs> So it took me to like the waiting area, I guess, until a person answers. So I guess it did actually work because I was about to talk to a person I hung up because I don't actually have any Netflix issues. I don't trust it with just one company though. All those phone kind of companies take so long to talk to a person. So let's try it with a Bell customer service number to see if it actually will put us through straight to a person because that would be a lifesaver. Welcome to Bell. For English, press one. No, I'm just pressing pound a hundred times. Maybe I press it too many times. We are sorry you are still having difficulties. The system will now disconnect. Goodbye. Goodbye. I did not say bye. I pressed pound. So, uh... The hack was a bust with Bell. It just hung up on me, so rude. So I'm gonna say that that hack kind of depends, I guess, on the automated system that they have. You can see it does work for Netflix, but it doesn't work with Bell, so it's probably 50-50. Try it out, I guess, if you're calling customer service, maybe it'll work, or maybe you'll get hung up on. This hack is just up in the air, really. So this next hack better work because I'm not trying to permanently stain my clothes, but apparently, if you get permanent marker on your clothes, all you have to do is use hand sanitizer. That seems simple enough to me, and I think all of us have had accidents with permanent marker. So let's test it out. I'm really putting it to the test because I'm gonna use a jumbo permanent marker. This thing is huge. Like, if you're gonna get any permanent marker off, it better be this thing, because if this falls on you, I feel like you're just screwed. So I'm just gonna put like a nice streak of the permanent marker on my sports bra. <laughs> Let's see if the hand sanitizer will get that off. If it does, I'll be very impressed because that's a lot of permanent marker. Glop it on there. I used a lot. I'm really gonna put my shoulder into it, you know. So, so far, a little bit is coming off. Like I can see it fading in some areas. I think it took out the most that it can possibly take out. You can see that it faded just a little bit here and over here. I'm gonna say that this hack is a fail because it really did not take it off completely. So try not to get permanent marker on your clothes because this Pinterest hack does not work. So this next hack is for those times when you have your favorite candle and it's literally at the very end of the wick. And it's so hard to get the lighter way down in the jar and you always end up burning yourself. And and everyone knows it's like such a pain. So apparently with this hack, it says that all you need is an uncooked strand of spaghetti and you just light that spaghetti strand and it supposedly will catch on fire and you can use that to light the wick. I did just buy new candles for fall. So I don't have one really that's at the bottom of the jar, but we'll still see if I can actually light these wicks with the spaghetti strand. So I'm going to light the strand. I'm a little nervous because fire does make me nervous. It did catch on fire. I'm gonna try and light the wicks. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh good, it lit one of them. I'm gonna try and light all three. The spaghetti strand is falling apart. Okay, all three are lit. Hey, that worked pretty well. I'm giving that hack two thumbs up because it actually worked and my candle is now lit. It does smell kind of funky, but I'm sure the candle will get rid of that in a couple minutes. So this hack says that all you need is a clothespin with you and that can act as like a stand for your toothbrush to prevent it from touching the dirty counters when you're traveling. I have my toothbrush, I have my clothespin. So in the picture, it clips the toothbrush down here and then it just like leans it down on the counter like that. Okay, maybe it's because of the type of clothespin I have. Let me try clipping it at, at the top of the toothbrush. Hey, that actually works. You can see that that one actually worked. So if you want something to hold your toothbrush up when you're traveling, bring along a clothespin. So with this next hack, I'm assuming that it just acts as like a speaker for your iPhone. Those are expensive. So if this works, hell, oh, I'm gonna use it. Apparently all you need is an empty paper towel roll and two plastic cups. So I'm gonna cut two holes so then the paper towel can go through it. This hack definitely takes a little bit more effort than the other hacks. So I've got one hole. Let's see if it fits the paper towel. It does, it fits a paper towel, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. I cut a hole in both cups, and this is what it looks like. You just gotta cut a slit at the top to put your phone in, and it should be a perfectly good working speaker. So let's play the music and see if it works. Hmm. My verdict, I can't really tell. It sounds a little bit more muffled to me than anything. I don't know, you guys let me know. Did that sound louder to you? You think that this is a good hack? Would you ever really use this? 
let me know. So this next hack shows a girl using a razor on her sweater. And you know those little fuzzies that you get on your sweater after you've worn it a few times or it's been through the dryer. I don't really know if they have like a specific name for them, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I think you guys know that these type of sweaters definitely get those balls of fuzz the most. You guys can see all the fuzzies that it has on the top of it. Let's try it out. So that's what it looks like where I did it. I think it's a lot smoother. I think it actually worked. You can see all the fuzz is in the razor. I'm gonna say that that hack works. Whether it's practical, I'm not really sure if somebody would wanna use it for their entire shirt, but it works. Time for the last hack, you guys. This one seems really, really cool if it actually works. It's how to make like a fruit candle. The picture shows an orange peel that's actually lit on fire and it looks like a candle. So it says to cut it in half. I took an orange, cut it in half, and then it says to take out the middle portion. You can eat it, throw it away, whatever, but you want to keep the stem in the center intact so that's what I did it says you can use vegetable oil olive oil whatever kitchen oil so that's what I'm using I pour that into the orange just right below the top of the stem let's see light ha burn myself it's not really lighting okay so I got a different lighter still nothing the stem is kind of getting burnt but it's not catching the fire it's going on the oil and it's kind of scaring me I'm saying that's a fail. I kept it there for a really long time and you can see that the stem kind of got burnt, but it did not catch on fire. All right, you guys, so that's the end of the hacks. I did go to the freezer to go get our ice pack to see if it actually worked. And it is really slushy-like. I probably should have kept it in the freezer for a little bit longer because it's still really wet. Um, like it's not quite like an ice pack, but it's getting pretty late and I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to show you guys. I'm saying that this is a success because it definitely did get kind of slushy-like and it would become even more like an ice pack if I kept it in there for a little bit longer. So that's the end of the video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because we're trying to get to 12,000 for this video. Some of the hacks were really cool and actually worked and some of them were a total fail. So I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. My favorite would probably have to be using nail polish remover to clean your shoes. It actually worked and it was pretty cool. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media if you aren't already. I'm always updating you guys on there. So if you want to know what's happening in my life in real time and not kind of waiting days after until I can film and edit and upload a video, then go ahead and follow my other socials. All my social handles are Sylvia Ganny, and the links are also in the description for you guys. So that's all for now. I will see you guys in my next video. Expect some Halloween videos coming up. I definitely want to get into the spirit. I love October. My birthday is actually in this month. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I said, hey.